Welcome back to Game Does Play Games, where you can watch games practice Hello. game design, and we're back with Hola. Nathan. <laughs> we're back with Nathan. <laughs> Let's be real here. Uh, <laughs> Battleship Brigade. And Battle Thrash Brigade. I'd, I'd ship that. <laughs> yeah, well, this little guy's the best. You have any pets? This guy is a statue. <laughs> we have a cat back home, but he's a terror. I was knocked quick way over, then hides behind my sister. Huh, no pets for me. Two kids is enough trouble. But I can enjoy this guy while I'm here. Who's a good pup? Maybe I'll get a dog one day. Cuties. <laughs> Those birds also never leave. Oh, he's not sitting. We can talk to him. Until next time, Tilda. Oh, God, please. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, for I always oh. forget what his voice is. Till next time, take care. Hey, mister. Looks like you're finally having a good day. You don't be so noise nosy. Oh, he just uh -oh. Dis disappeared. That's how doors travel in this world. Uh, I'd What's be into this? That. No way. It's a love note written on a crescent receipt. Oh, it must be for Bad Deal. Dwarf love. <laughs> Dwarf love is the best love. You'd give it all away to find <laughs> love who will stand by your side. <laughs> you have a beautiful voice. Oops. Oh, thank you, recruit. Don't think I'll let you slack off because I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. And then immediately Jeez. goes into it. All right. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I gotta serve this. Oh, God, I gotta serve that. <laughs> No oh, shit, I gotta serve that too! Isn't no one else gonna serve this food? <laughs> Why isn't anyone else doing it? No, I don't even know what I'm doing with this one! Oh, it's another one, oh shit! Love it, love it. <laughs> Such a oh, fun character design. Also nice, you're doing good, man. I was like, I was practicing before, oh shit. Not anymore, you ruined it. There we go. <laughs> You, you were doing better while I was panicking for you. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> the pressure. Uh, did it. Now, this is only for money at this point, right? Yep. Okay, that's what I thought. These are really freaking easy. God. I was like, I was practicing a little bit ago, and like, uh, that makes this look like a joke. <laughs> can, can you just keep doing this infinitely? Yep. So you could just like farm this to get money and then buy it. I think things. I was 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 the did the timer go out or was I just stopped? I think. Did you see the I timer? I think th I didn't see the timer, but it might have gone out. Pushing the day. Did the timer go out or did it just stop me? Because thirty four is a lot. Normally you get like as I said like 25, 27 if you're like doing pretty good. Hmm. Huh. Yes. I think they might actually be good for each other. I, uh, I just wanted to say thanks for this opportunity. You're welcome, Nina. Now get out of here, recruit. You've worked hard enough for today. It's but I only got 34 monies. Aw, oh, you didn't tell her? Mm-mm. But, no. but... So I can talk to Thrash. I can uh, challenge him. I can challenge Caesar. Threaten to give his oh. love note away unless he, he, he accepts your challenge. Or, and unless he loses, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. Anything I feel like I need? That. <laughs> yeah. What does actually? What does double knives do? Throws two knives per one. Oh, yeah. I think you mentioned that already. It's like. It's just seemed like a a cooking thing, like. Well, I guess everything else is sort of like a surface to work on, so like a cutting board or mm. an oven. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You're an oven. I wish I was. Double knives is pretty good, especially when combined with other things. Oh. Yeah, because like you can get double knives, and then you get things where your knives will stun or freeze your enemy. Oh, so it has sort of a stacking effect. Uh huh. Oh, or, okay. Or an increased like dagger stun targets, but they don't always stun them. So you throw a two uh, and you increase your chances. I kind of like that because like double knives. by themselves, double knives. you know, they're not like the most compelling things. Mm -hmm. um, but if you play your cards right, you can make them pretty useful. Boom. No, future bottle cap. It didn't do much though, did it? Plus one mana, plus one health. Just more, yeah, more things I don't really need. 
I mean, you're not really at a point where yes, you're going to die. Really challenge. That's interesting. Oh, really? Oh, no, wait, no, I can challenge Caesar. Right. Uh, has my loadout. Pretty decent. Do cool. it. Either him or Caesar. I don't remember what they give me, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and challenge him. Let's do this, Leonid. Would you like to have a duel with me? Of oh. course, but be warned. I'm rumored to be this year's frontrunner in the competition. Hmm. Uh, Lena, do you change your voice? <laughs> oh, actually, maybe I should ask someone else then. <laughs> it's definitely the tournament committee stirring up some theater. I find it rather embarrassing, to be honest. Nonetheless, I accept your challenge, but I've changed my mind. <laughs> Bye. You took me out of it. Uh... <laughs> All right, but, but really. Oh, I didn't realize it actually let you back out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, weird that they require you to talk to him again. But no, that was just you being, being, being me. Making the funnies. Making the lols. Look at the guy in the corner. That's I last episode I literally did that. Look, said that. Look at this little guy. Yeah, I was like the the little, little, little bird guy, the egg making guy. And you were like, egg making guy. <laughs> Isn't that all birds? And I was like, yeah, well, I guess he was so. doing something different at the time. This time he was running. <laughs> you know what? That would be like a great little like icon or something you could have on your phone. Yeah. Like well, do a thing where again, like maybe he's in the background the constantly doing division, cute little things. Making eggs. And his wings. <laughs> All I'm saying is make this, make make this a thing. I mean, like I've seen some smart watches that have stuff like that. It'll be like a little like cat or something. A Tamagotchi for your smartphone with that little guy. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd buy that. Yes. Hey, you know what? That'd be a really funny way to like side market Battle Chef Brigade. It's it's like how they marketed ah. uh, Final Fantasy 15 by like mm. making 20 different like offshoot games before the the main one released. Yeah, all equally as bad as the actual game. Oh, before the game released. Yeah, yeah no, those yeah. were actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, those those Except were okay. Except for the demo of Justice Monsters 5, because... <laughs> well, there was, was no fixing that there one. There was no fixing that. But, like, imagine if they did make a little Tamagotchi with those bird guys. Like, it would probably bring in a new audience. They would play it. They'd be like, oh, hell yeah, there hasn't been a good Tamagotchi game in forever. I wonder what this thing comes from. Y yeah, exactly. And then, you know, it kind of bleeds in. I mean, like, who knows how effective that would actually be in the world of marketing that sounds like a good idea on paper. But, you know, like... It's also extra resources. This is an indie team. A lot, a lot of work, actually. Well, I mean... I mean, you made a Tamagotchi game. We, in, like... we made a Tamagotchi game in 48 hours that actually didn't do a terrible job at simulating the Tamagotchi experience. I mean, it was expedited and... and it was also a different take on it. So it wasn't yeah, it was like a cut-down version of a Tamagotchi. But nonetheless, like, it worked. You could play it on HTML5. I played it on my phone, so it's like, well, if you could do that in 48 hours, you probably make a pretty good Tamagotchi in, you know, four months. Easy. Right? I'd be in the, I've wanted to make a Tamagotchi game in a while, actually. Well, we've we've talked about making a Tamagotchi basically since the beginning of us coming up with our from the archives, actually. It's because there's so many bad Tamagotchi games, and Tamagotchi is so fun. Wind fruit. All I'm saying is Golem Gachi would be fantastic. Dude, our Golem series is gonna pick up. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Vive la brigade! Vive la brigade! Gotta get some wind fruit. Alright, oh, goal number one. Name. Get some wind fruit. Wind fruit. One fruit, which, if I'm not mistaken, does both we water and earth, which I think is our. Oh really? I like that the oh. bird like reperched, perched as if oh, like. No, these are no chief fruit. That's not what I want. Get out of here. Gee. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh okay. no. Okay. Oh. Okay. Should have kept that bottle cap. <laughs> Well, I'm pick up. You know what? We're just we're gonna go back home. And... Oh, I never realized, but you recover health over time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like that makes sense. I just most of the time you either never took damage or you only took damage right at the butt end of the the segment. Fruit. Ah, shit. ah. Whew, got it. Just in time. It only opens when the wind's actually blowing. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, I kind of like that. That's, you know, from a level design perspective, that's pretty smart because that kind of ties in the, the, like, limited time mechanic to the challenge. 
Um, which I think that's really important. I mean, like, imagine if the level design didn't have anything that involves, like, time delays. It, you know, it might not feel as though it's like... Hmm. Wait, okay, wait. Go ahead and start cooking this. A lot of fire, neither of them want fire, but we can still work on the water. Okay, so we'll go and do that. Can you ever overcook them? Nope. Just the moment that it hits. That would be interesting, an interesting mechanic. Why yeah, I'm, I'm actually a little surprised that it's not a thing. N not that I'm complaining. Um, it's, I mean, it's I, just I'm another sure. like mechanic that we've talked about that would be interesting. Well, and that's one of those obvious ones too, right? So I I fully expect that that's something that the developers contemplated. Like, I think there's no world in which they didn't consider overcooking. Mm -hmm. um, I, I I think my prediction is they took it out because they probably felt as though it was too punishing and, and maybe like paired with the idea that you're a professional chef or at least competing with professional chefs so like you know your shit she wouldn't let it overcook so don't it, mechanically it actually might not make sense to give the player that opportunity yeah Plus, like, if you consider that the game itself, or the challenges themselves are, what, 10 minutes at most? At most, yeah. Give or take, like, you're not, you're probably not going to overcook much in 10 minutes. <laughs> I think the, the rebuttal there is that you're also cooking things in slow cookers, so... Uh, uh, slow cookers usually assume, like, at mm. least an hour of cooking it, but, you know. Let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and grab the other one for... So what I'm doing right here is I'm letting one, I let one wooden fruit cook in a slow cooker, and it actually upgraded both of my uh, blue ones up to level threes already. So I kind of lucked out in that regard. Nice. Uh, and so come on, wind. Nice. Wow. Only going for two that time? Yeah, I don't need any more. I only need to do two dishes, and I already have decent amount, but the killing those blue guys mm. gives me a lot of blue, and since one of them wants a lot of water, it all works out. Ah, that makes cool. sense. Cool, and bam. I already, so... Actually, you know what? I might as well put one more one for it in here. Although I totally did that wrong. Okay, now cook. Uh, Alright, so this chick wants... We'll go ahead and do the water one here. So, let's go ahead and cut this. Oh... Yeah. Now, are there elements that Actually, they like they really don't want? No. Luckily not. Oh, ah, ah, Nathan. Ah, oh well. Here, let's go. With ahead the watery and, sauce? Yeah. Uh let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, there you go. Now I want all the water to the and then Boom. Kapow. Nice. Done. So watery, it's so nothing but water. water. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> it's a lot of water. See, and I feel like if there were elements that the um, the person just really did not like, like it, it gave you a negative impact on your score, um, I could see that making the cutting board a little bit more utilized. Yeah. Uh, as I said though, trust me, it'll it'll come to the point where you'll be like, ah, I could see why you would want the cutting board. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I, I guess maybe I'm a little too early in that um, assessment. Get all that water. Dang. This is the wateriest water. <laughs> you, you serve it and it's just water. <laughs> it's just like, like, very well done. Yo, dog, I heard you liked water, so I put water on your water. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. All right, we're going to go and set this to the side. Yeah, I feel like you're probably pretty good with that one. Uh, this lady actually You have wants a minute her. and 40 seconds, yeah, by the I way. Know. I, I, I know. You're, you're like... Do I have, any, you're I, really do I have green sauce? Did I get green sauce? I don't think I got, that, I got fire sauce. What's that bottom great. second one? Isn't okay. that green? Well, maybe it wasn't a sauce. It wasn't. But it was green, right? Yeah, so here's the thing about that. I got a... Oh, damn it. Let's do this, and then, yeah. And you could put that in the oven. I don't, I gotta worry more about com combining. That's faster anyway. That's fair. Yeah, and you have enough ingredients to, to get away with that. 60 seconds remain. 
Oh, shit. You know what? And I, the more I think about it, the more um, it, I think it makes sense that they didn't have things overcooked because that also comes with like a lot of extra UI work because then you have to kind of tell the player, hey, your thing is overcooking mm -hmm. while you're away from your cooking stuff. Uh, this lady's not going to be happy with me. Why? It's not going to... Mm. None of Earth. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, okay, here, we'll do this. Shit. No, I'm not. 20 seconds. You know, at this point, I might as well just serve it as it is. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'll make up for it with this dish. If you serve it to the wrong person, can you pick it back up and move it to someone else? I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. Thank you for your hard work. I could I could see myself Let's panicking see and handing the wrong see. dish to the wrong person. <laughs> like shit, especially this was when they all start having similar things cuz there's a like be one that was like I want fire. And it's like I want fire earth. I want fire water and you're like ah. <laughs> right, like I don't remember which one's which. <laughs> That's beautiful. Look at whatever That's, that is. It's pretty nice. The garnish is crazier than the dish itself. <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh. <laughs> Leonid, you're, you're, whatever. You're weak whatever. shit. My dish is worth more than that. Basic. Basic. I'm guessing. I don't actually really. I think. I think. Yeah, it's, it's already close. 186 plus 50 for hitting the water. Wow. Wow. Told you. Boom. It'd be fun to see this game being played competitively. That's. I really want to see that. That would be awesome. Right. Earth is a perfect stabilizer. There's nothing technically wrong, but it lacks heart. Literally, I need more heart in this. Why isn't there more heart? <laughs> Ooh, like, who eats that? <laughs> <laughs> Your Earth is a dominant presence, presence of the Earth. High quality Earth gems must be added. Respectable, Respectable dish. dish. Please with it. Didn't have uh, didn't have enough of the thing, and it would have actually been worth more had I not cut out that one level three. Because at that time I was panicking, going, "All right, I need to cut out everything that's not water." And then I was like, "That would be everything but one gem." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did it. Boom. So that's what the cutting board can do. I got rid of a piece of bone, a couple pieces of bone, I think. I got rid of uh, elements that weren't. Yeah, like and it, the it one I was looking for. It really didn't shoot you in the foot to have the cutting board. I, I guess I kind of expected it to kind of take the place of something that might have been more useful. But if it, I had one of the, the elemental things in that challenge, it probably would have been better for me. Mm. Um, but I mean, it was still helpful. Yeah. As I said, though, just wait. Like when a mechanic comes in, it's gonna like when you see that, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, mm. yeah. Boom! Rainbow droplets. These things are crazy, Ooh. so you get, uh, you can use it three times in a challenge and it gives you a rainbow piece, which... Oh. Combines with anything? Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. It's like the most tropey kind of match three kind of piece you could have. Wild card piece. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. There's a reason why it's consistently used. You should probably get some dinner, but I just want to sleep. You haven't eaten since you got here. <laughs> What's going on over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa! Family donates to Judge Mary Jane's Academy. She gave you a free pass on that win. If you actually knew anything about me or my family, you'd know that couldn't be farther from the truth. Just how many of your royal family members are in the brigade? It's obvious nepotism. If you have an issue, bring it up with the tournament committee. I'm sure they'll find your accusations to be baseless. <laughs> Run away like the cheat you are! This was your third loss. You're out of the competition. Learn to take that in stride. You can always try again another year. Are you? Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Nice throw. Right? You cut my hand! Uh, I'm sorry, but you were about to hurt my friend. We need to get Also, those, like, giant sewing needles are so crazy looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! I told you something terrible was brewing in town. What happened here? She just threw her dagger at me. I was aiming for your skewer. It was an accident. You raised your weapon and it looks to be only a scratch. Let's get that wrapped up. The three of you come with me. I've got a medical kit at the inn. What are you all standing around <laughs> for? I don't oh, have any orc-sized yeah. medical kits though. <laughs> She's a very tall lady. You come from an 
honorable lineage as well. There's no need to throw dirt on Kieran's family. Your great-grandmother is the fabled Kiln, isn't she? Uniting the orc tribes by way of her cross-culture cuisine. Seems a pretty big fucking deal. I didn't actually realize that she was an orc. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn. Of course. Taking Kieran's side. It seems to me that the only one who expected an easy win based on their background is you. The fact remains. Contestants are not allowed to draw weapons on one another in town. It's a designated safe zone. In accordance with Article 7 of the Proving Tournament Rules, you are hereby expelled from the competition for two years. Oh shit! What was? This is bull. As for you, Mia, even though you tried to protect Kieran, you also broke the rules. You've injured Oh shit! Kieran. And just think if your dagger had missed and hit a townsperson. There was no one else around. I'm sorry, instructor. You should have gotten an officer to handle the situation. There was no time. Yeah. What? Yup. Is this the only way? Although I understand the seriousness of the situation, I don't think Shiv or Mina truly meant any tensions were high. Threats were made. Kieran, say your farewells to them. They're expected to leave tomorrow morning. Mina, I'm so sorry. Listen, everything is going to work out. Don't give up. Mina? Aw, oh, man. Yep. I wanted to win the competition. And this is where the game takes a turn. You're like, huh. <laughs> this did not go the way I thought it would. Yep. Huh. Alright, well. We should Are probably... We, we're over. over. Yeah, we're seven minutes over. That's yeah, pretty, pretty over. Alright, we'll come back to this. Back to Windy Village. Oh, oh wow. I, I mean, I guess, yeah, that makes sense that we would go home. <laughs> well, we're expelled. Boom. Four days. Five days. Oh. I was like, no, Can don't, don't speed up, days. don't speed up. <laughs> Two years later. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll, we'll come back in the next episode. Uh, question of the day, what are your thoughts on the cutting board and how it was utilized? And I mean, like, how was Nathan a fool and how he used it? Yeah, I could, uh, I could dump better. I spent way too much time <laughs> on a water dish. Not, but it was, a, it was a, good dish. such a watery it was dish. So water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. And we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye. Mm.